Hi, Vortex. I keep doing that. I keep, I keep like rubbing my mouth. Like I just did something weird. I play music because I enjoy it, not because I'm good at it. By the way. it up. <laughs> I wasn't trying to do anything though. I just play, I just jam, whatever. Improvising. Most of the time it's not very good, but is that I feel good when I do it. I feel better than when I started. And I know that I'm better at it than I was back in 2017 when I got up on a stage and did it for the first time. I know that I'm better than I was that time, at least. <laughs> And they still thought it was good, and they remembered it. And I had so many compliments, and I had so many people telling me that that's what it is. Comedy, comedy, comedy. What you're doing, taking risks, taking risks. And when you take risks, you're gonna fuck something up. When you take risks, you don't know what the result is going to be. And if you don't know what you're going to be getting in the long run, or even in the short term, then it's nothing but nerve-wracking, nerve-wracking, which explains why I'd be so good at it, because I'm so very self-destructive. And so I need an outlet that's not totally unhealthy. I run my car into so many things and I drink anything. I would do anything for a drink. And I'd steal anything just to say I stole it. Though I couldn't tell too many people about it. And that's why I quit. That's why I quit. Because I couldn't be honest about shoplifting. What a weird ass thing. But I don't know what exactly, but maybe that's not the point. Because when it's good, it's great. And when it's bad, it's fucking terrible. But I guess that's life for you, ain't it? And that's okay when it doesn't rhyme. It's okay when you fumble. It's okay when you prove that you're still human because a lot of these artists these musicians i think that they're from another planet or something but i'm just a human i'm just a human and i've experienced things quite intensely I'm a pretty intense person, so much so that even I have trouble spending too much time with me. As much as I love being alone, I get sick of me, I get sick of me, I get sick of me. And that's why I smoke weed. It's better than killing myself, right? So, so if you're like, no, no, you need to stop doing that, or you need to 
you need to live your life like I live my life as a completely different person, you know? That's what you need to do. Here's the thing, my apologies, the more I think about it, I'm like, you're wrong, Amy, you're fucking wrong. Like, I can have my beliefs on psychiatry and all that, but I, I shouldn't be trying to tell people that they... I mean, whatever, do what you want. I just, I just feel bad because, like, there are a lot of people that are really screwed up because of psychiatric medication. There are all kinds of people screwed up because of that fucking shot, you know? There are all kinds of people screwed up because of all this stuff that, that they take, and it's terrible advice that they take from people, and it's like, you know, I just feel bad because of, like, what they're doing to themselves and they don't realize it. So it's coming from a place of love, I promise. If it's judgment, it's righteous. It's righteous, motherfucker, it's righteous, okay? Because, like, if you're going to get addicted to something, you got to at least know. <laughs> I mean, like, that's the thing about addiction. It's like the reason they say that addiction is, like, a disease or whatever. Did I say this before? doesn't matter, just say it again. It's possession. It's totally possession. So, yeah, I've said this. I said this when I was in the car when it was, like, raining outside, I think. Mm. And you were yelling, like, nonstop. <laughs> when am I not yelling nonstop? I mean, I'm pretty chill right now, but that's because of, uh, you know, the leaves. It's because of the leaves. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? You know what I mean? Them green thingies. But, uh... Yeah. I take breaks. Like, I'll take breaks from pot, and then, like, I'll go back to it, and then I'll take breaks, and I'll go back to it. And it's like, I don't do that with alcohol, because with alcohol, like, it was really bad. Like, I was just straight up compulsive and, like, making terrible decisions, but, like... With weed, it's, like, a little different. But it's more like my mind. I, it's like I have an attachment to the plant because it's like, that's what schizophrenia is. Like, you look at the cannabis plant. Like, every schizophrenic you've ever met is like a walking cannabis plant. So it just depends on the strain, you know? I hope I'm a good strain, you know? <laughs> they should name a strain after you. They really should. They, they need to name a strain after John Nash. And, like... <laughs> yeah, really, though. Wesley Willis. I heard he's on TikTok now. Rock and roll McDonald. <laughs> and he was schizo, man. Yeah, that definitely needs to be a strain. Sid Barrett needs a strain. Yeah, I'm definitely the Sid Barrett strain. Hopefully that doesn't happen with me. I hope I don't I hope I don't get kicked out of my own band. That would suck. <laughs> I'd have to kick myself out of my own band, right? I'd have to kick myself out. That's what would end up happening. Yeah, but... Anyway. Yeah, so I, I, I think I've mentioned this. I'm doing a comedy show at a weed bar, and I think it's going to be a regular thing that I'm going to be doing. So, like... I'm going to talk to my friend Chris Reeves about it tomorrow, because I'm going to be at Cafe Coco, um, probably. Yes, yes, most definitely going to Cafe Coco, and then going to the fucking wheat bar. Again. Again. <laughs> Not that fancy schmancy one. The one where I, I shot in black and white. Where I was like talking like this the whole that mic was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. Like the microphone itself, it was all fancy. Like it was gold. It was literally gold. I mean, well, I don't know if it was actual gold, like you know the the jewel, but like it was it was ghetto. It was ghetto, but it was trying to be like pristine or whatever. But you couldn't hear anything. At least I couldn't. I don't know if my camcorder is just terrible, but. You'd think a microphone would project, but maybe it was, like, the sound quality was bad because of the room itself, because that room was kind of awkward. Like, you know, I'm, I'm used to doing comedy in, like, you know, small spaces, though. And I prefer that, like, a really small space. God, I miss twin kegs. 
like we went to Twin Cakes too when it was John Hickok hosting it and it was just us on the back porch with Shane Bianchi man I miss that shit I think about that a lot like just experiences that I had that I'm like really, really really grateful for and you know comedy's taught me so much it's, it's taught me you know who I am actually <laughs> now I know who I am <laughs> no, but seriously though, like, I mean, I, I just never realized that I was like legit funny. It's weird. I guess because I'm a woman, so I just I don't think of women as able to have that. I, I guess it's like I, when I think of myself as a comedian, I don't think of myself as a woman, and. Neither do the dudes I do comedy with, so. Because, yeah, when you see a female comic, it's like, ugh, really? Another one? You know? <laughs> I mean, like, if they're funny, it's still annoying because they're a woman. So it's like, if I'm up there and I'm acting like a guy, and a lot of people think I'm a guy, and then I have trans people, like literal trans people, coming up to me telling me I have balls, that's kind of like... I think that's cool. Because it's good to have, like, a lot of people. Like, because I... So, I've had dudes that I know were, like, misogynists. Okay? Which is fine. We're right there with you. We're, like, way worse than you, actually, because we're not going to fuck a woman. Um, but, yeah. Um, so, we have, like, misogynist dudes. We also have a lot of black people, unless they act white. Um, but if they don't act white, they love me. Um, who else? Trans people, gay people, um, Christians, um, what? <laughs> like, are you, lo like, lumping all these people in the same category? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, these are all people that find me funny. Oh, and women. Liberal, wi white, liberal women. It's well-rounded, y'all. It's well-rounded. Especially considering, like, how offensive I am on here. They have no idea. I don't tell them about this channel. Like, there are only a couple people in the comedy scene that can watch my channel. One of them is Shane Bianchi. <laughs> I know John doesn't watch it. He's got way better shit to do than watch my shit. If you're working comic, you gotta work on your shit. You can't... I mean, that's the thing. I don't know why all these comics waste their time watching Netflix. Watching any kind of TV. Y'all need to be doing shit. You need to be working on your stuff. Don't you waste your time on somebody else's art. It's usually not even art anyway. It's like communist. Everything's communist in my in my book. It's the best book. It's the best book. It's almost as good as the... I was going to say the other best book. There's no such thing as another best book. It's like the definition of best is the number one <laughs> which is the bible it's not my book yeah the bible is good though the bible is the best I try to read it as much as possible I read Ecclesiastes again that's how much I love it now I'm in like the wisdom of Sirach is it Sirach? Sirach Yeah, and I'm also reading Romans again, too. So, yeah, I, I read, like, different stuff at the same time. It actually helps me to do that rather than try to read just one thing because that's how my brain is. Like, I'm all over the place. So it's stupid for me to, like, try to force myself to focus um, because when I do that, I just get really frustrated because I can't. And I'm not going to take fucking pills for that shit. I just won't do it. Um, but anyway... Um, yeah, it's good to, it's good to read, though. Reading is awesome. And it's a very underrated activity that a lot of people can't even do anymore because of what I just said. You know, like, they get frustrated because they can't focus and they give up. But let's be real, most people don't even want to do it. They just want to stare at a screen or be entertained and you know reading takes work 
because of your, you know, you have to train your eyes to do it, you know, to stay, stay focused and, you know, actually care about it and, you know, it's work, it's work and it, it makes you tired sometimes. So if it makes your brain tired and that's not like people don't want to think. So reading requires effort and like most people don't want to make effort to like do much of anything. So like why do you think they would read?